Hey, Aqua Junkies, what's going on, fellas? 2017 Bass Boat Tour. I've done a couple of these before. You guys are asking for an updated tour, so we got a 2009 Bass Tracker Protein 175 TXW. Uh, this boat's going on 10 years old. I actually got it in 2008. But overall, guys, it's still in pretty good shape for its age. Uh, and in these tours, I've never really talked about how I like the boat. Usually, I just tell you guys what I've done to the boat. Really never, like I said, how I, how I like the boat. But guys, overall, it's a great boat. I'm not affiliated with Tracker at all. Um, for the size of the boat, it's very roomy. You can fish, you know, three. Pretty comfortable. I prefer to have the front deck to myself, so usually just me up front and a buddy in the back, or, you know, I'll fish up front with one of my boys, my other boy in back. But you can fish three out of it. I prefer two. I um, actually prefer just to fish just by myself, so I have the whole boat, but um, it does fish two really comfortably. But um, it handles rough water pretty good. I don't fish huge lakes, but on some of the lakes that I fish, if you get a good south wind blowing, it gets pretty choppy out there, and this boat handles the water really well. Really, only three things that I would change on this boat, rod locker, the console, and then where the uh, gas tank is positioned. I'd rather it be moved over, and we'll get into that when we get back there. Let's go ahead and start with the trailer. Tell you guys a few mods that I made recently. Or just things that I changed. I really didn't modify anything. Um, last year, put on a new winch, the Fulton F2. This thing is a beast. I believe this winch and the jack um, are for, are for the, uh, the bigger bass boats, like your full-size nitros and all that. So it's nothing to crank on a little tracker. Um, awesome winch here. We got the jack as well, F2. I mean, this jack just cranks this boat up with these. Nothing to it. Uh, it's got a cool little deal here. You can just put that up there like that so the handle doesn't drag the bottom, you know, the ground as you're driving. It's got a little stop on here to keep your boat from rolling around. That's pretty cool too. Uh, let's see here. I think a couple seasons back, I put on some new bunk boards. You can see those, babe. These are the ultimate bunk boards. And again, I'm not affiliated with this company either. Um, they're not wood. I'm not really sure of the material. I guess it's some type of plastic or whatever. But uh, they work really well, and I recessed the head, so I was able to bolt these on. So really happy with these. My dad even picked up a set as well. Um, really, really nice. Ultimate bunk boards. Uh, let's see here. To the trailer, what else did I do? Got a video on these as well, and everything that I did a video on, I'll link down below. Boat buckles, love these things. Simple to uh, strap down the boat. Pretty cool. Uh, we got... New transom saver on here. I've had this one for a few years now, and it's got a spring in it so the motor doesn't get all jarred around. Pretty cool. Uh, this here, while I'm back here, I'm going to go ahead and mention this so I don't forget it. And I got a video on this as well, which I'll link down below. It's just another transom saver here. So you can adjust your transducer if you need to, and you're putting less holes in your transom. So definitely check that out as well. Um, while we're back here, babe, let's go ahead and start with the motor. 50 horse Merc, two stroke, awesome motor. I've had zero issues with it. I mean, it, it's a beast. Love this motor here. Uh, prop is, this is the original prop. I'll be putting a new prop on. I should already had one on there, but um, you know, I run this, I'll go ahead and get to the issue now, since we're talking about it. Um, the gas tank, which I'll show you guys when we open this compartment up, the gas tank is on this side. So you gotta think, I have my weight, which is over 200 pounds, plus I believe it's a 26 gallon gas tank. So when that tank is full, this boat leans quite a bit. That's the one thing that I do not like about it, or one of the things that I don't like about it. I wish some way it was centered, or you know, maybe in a different spot, maybe under the seat, something like that. But being on the same side as me, there's not enough weight on the other side to balance it out. So that's why I really I haven't got a new prop yet because I had the tank full, and that's not normally, normally it's not how I run it. I usually run it with a half a tank, that way the boat rides more level. So I'm down to a half a tank now, so now I'll get some good numbers the way I get the right prop on here. But that's like I said, what's one of the biggest issues with this boat. And really, I'm not sure if they can even do anything else with it, but I just wish it wasn't on the same side or maybe off-centered, you know, it's just, 
The fact that it's in line with me, it does too much weight on this right side. Anyways, that's why I don't have a prop yet, but I'll get some good numbers now, now that the gas tank is, uh, is half full. We got the power pole, Sportsman 2. I got a video on this as well. Had this for a couple seasons now, Sportsman 2, eight foot. Love this thing. I wish I could get two on here. And if I decide to keep this boat for a while still, I may figure out a way to get a second pump in here, but you'll see it's, it's a pretty tight squeeze. It can be done, but let's we'll have to see how it goes. I may put another eight footer on here. We'll just have to see how it goes. But like I said, eight foot Sportsman 2, awesome uh, accessory right there. You guys are asking too about the, um, the micros. Now I did consider those in the beginning, putting two of those on here, one just because they're cheaper. Um, but I had a buddy or I knew a buddy that had a tracker. He had one on his boat and I think it only really held him in like five foot or less. And even in five foot, if you got some waves, it would come loose. So that's one of the reasons I went with the, um, the actual power pole, not the micro. But um, that's that on that. Go down here to the trolling motor. Minn Kota, 55 edge. Now, they may be different now, but at the time that I bought this, this was the biggest 12 volt you could get. Um, again, I don't have a ton of room back there. I knew I wanted a power pole, so that's why I didn't go with the 24 volt. But again, I don't fish huge lakes, and 24 volt does the job for me. Um, you know, I'd, most of the time I keep it on five anyways, and uh, like I said, I don't, I don't really see a reason to go much faster. So for me, um, with this boat, this motor does just fine. I added the Troll Perfect on there. Since I usually do keep it at pretty high speeds, uh, this allows you to put pressure on the shaft. So at a high speed, when you make a turn, it doesn't fling you off the boat. I also added the Eliminator on here, the Prop Net Eliminator, which I do feel at a high speed, you get a little less vibration out of the motor just because you have more surface area on the face of that prop. So a pretty cool product there. I uh, got the Transducer Shield and Saver. You guys ask about that all the time. That's on there. Uh, Big Fur's cords. That's what I use for my pull ropes. Paracord. Those work awesome. Definitely check him out. Uh, a new um, product I just added on here, which is pretty cool, guys. Put this on here about a couple months ago. It's by Cast Designs. Okay, it's a dual drink holder. You got a tool holder in here as well. It just straddles your recessed foot pedal. It comes with the mounting hardware. It's eighth inch thick aluminum. Awesome, guys. Uh, when I put pictures on this on Facebook, you guys are saying that you may stub your toe when you're on your foot pedal there. I've yet to do that. I mean, you can move it further away if you'd like, but that's kind of where I wanted it, and I've yet to stub my toe. I mean, it's, it's really cool having your drinks and your tools right where you need, you know, right there in front of the deck. So that's pretty cool there. Definitely check them out, Cast Designs. They also, if you want to come to the back of the boat real fast, babe, they have another product here. They just came out with these. These are called the stool tool. This is the dual stool tool here. You can see there's a hole on top here. It, your uh, seat post goes through that, and then it just sits on top of your, your post there. That one there, it's got a tool holder and a cup holder, and this one there is for two tools. Pretty cool deal there. Like I said, I'll link them down below. Definitely check them out. Let's go back up front here, babe. All right, you guys seen, I did the, um, the recess foot pedal. I did that years ago. I got a video on that as well. And I do have the cool foot on here, which I don't fish barefoot. And you guys know I put that on there because it's red. It looks cool, you know, but it is supposed to keep your foot or the pad itself cool on those hot days. If you do fish barefoot, you won't burn your foot. Uh, put a new plug on here for the trolling motor. Forgot about that. Working out good there. Got a strap here to hold my wire there for the Hummingbird. I got a video on this install as well. Hummingbird 899 uh, CIHD. I do not have a high definition transducer. Good unit though. I mean, they're older, they're discontinued, but I really don't see a reason to upgrade for me. I mean, I know the lakes I fish pretty well, so if I got out more and fish more lakes, I may consider upgrading them, but for now, they're doing pretty good. Let's see here, let's go ahead and cover this one up here with the console, babe. I got a video on this one as well. I've had this one for years. That is 598 CIHD. Again, I do not have a high definition uh, transducer on there, but it gets the job done. While we're here though, let's talk about the other thing I don't like about the boat, and that's the console here. Console itself is great. I just wish it was moved over. That way you could lay your rods along the console because really you can't fit a seven foot rod from the, uh, you know, the front there to here. So you have to lay them off to the side there. Then they're in the way when you open up the box, you know, and if you put them, I put them here before 
and had the tips up front here. But on a hot day, I've had some of my tips where they actually, they kept that curve from the heat. So I don't lay any rods really on this side. You know, I wish this console was moved over even just to six inches or so, just enough to lay the tips along the side there. Other than that though, um, well, I had three issues. Don't I have three issues? Oh, the rod locker. We'll get to that when I get in there. But yeah, I wish this was moved over by six inches or so. We covered that. Let's see here. Let's go and cover this box here. There's some miscellaneous baits in here. Stuff I use throughout the day, throw in here. Rattle traps, wake baits, crank baits. Uh, hot sauce. Guys, this stuff is awesome here. I'm not affiliated with them. But um, this takes off all the water spots on your boat. That's why my boat looks the way it does. I mean, this stuff here is awesome. And I keep some of this stuff in here as well. If I get a stain on the boat, I'll hit it real fast with this. One of the reasons the carpet looks so, so good right now is my, my beautiful wife here. She just didn't clean my carpets last week and I got caught in the rain um, a couple times out. And like I said, she cleaned all the carpets up. She did a beautiful job. But I do keep this on the boat. Hit a stain if I get one real fast. Then we got some wipes there, a couple bungees. Let's, um, did put new tires on the trailer, forgot about that. Okie dokie, let's go around the other side here. Blue Retriever, let's keep that on the boat. It gets out, I'm gonna say 50% of your crankbaits. I mean, you don't get them all back, but you get some of them back. My yellow tech sticks, one is uh, powered, one is not. And guys, um, I've only really put out one fishing video since I got the GoPros and the Yellow Tech Sticks and all that. And I know I wanted to put out more and I told you guys I was going to, but like I said, I put out the one video on the spinner baits, you know, how to fish spinner bait, which I'll link that video down below. After I did that video, I think I went on vacation. And then the lake that I normally fish where I make my videos, there was chemical spill. So that lake was shut down for a few weeks and I just started fishing it again last week, which it ain't fishing great. It hasn't really fished great all year long. I think the biggest fish I caught that day was a five and a half pound catfish while I was bass fishing, so. But anyways, I'll get back to those fishing videos. Just, I'm kinda of waiting for the legs to pick up. This compartment here, we have square bills. Never leave home without that box. Especially this box here, KVD 1.5s, Bomber Square A's. My go-to cranks right there. And then we got a Mafia box here, full of hooks. This one here is four out through seven out. I got a video on how I organize my hooks. I'll link that down below as well. All right, moving on. Let's see here, I guess there's nothing else we can cover from out here. Let's go ahead and jump in the boat. I ask you guys, if you guys are true fans of the channel, okay, what's the one thing that I'll do, okay, when I'm walking to the boat, before I get in the boat, what's the one thing I'm gonna do before I get in this boat? Leave comments below. <laughs> my wife's over there making fun of me right now. I take my shoes off, and I'll go ahead and tell you, the, uh, the lake that I fish the most, they have a gravel parking lot, Okay, and there was this one time they did not put enough rock down. So there was just tar everywhere. I ended up getting tar in the boat. So after that, I no longer step in the boat with the shoes that I walk down to the boat in. You know, I always take them off and I keep two pairs of shoes in this boat that never leave this boat. That way I know I'm not tracking dirt up and down my boat. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> so yes, these shoes are coming off. All right, let's go ahead and start. Oh, I forgot too, while well, we're front there, I just, I just seen those. We got the, if you can see those, babe, we got the power pole switches up and down there. I did have them on either side of the foot pedal there, but I wanted, obviously, I wanted the, uh, the caddy there in the center, so I moved the, those off to the side, and I was actually stepping on them from time to time where I had them, so they're in a good spot now. The uh, carpet decals, you can see I got mine on here, and then Biospawn, Mr. Tackle Box, and Akuma, those are my main sponsors of this channel. So happy to have those on here. Go ahead and start with, you know what, start with the seat. I got a video on this as well. This is the tackle webs. Pretty cool deal here. Got compartments all around it to store soft plastics, your cell phone, got a snip on there. Pretty cool deal. Definitely check them out. Like I said, I'll link that video down below. This compartment here, keep a little piece of wood in here to prop that up. All my compartments have Cook's go-to tackle system. I'm not affiliated with them. 
Um, awesome product though. Like I said, all my compartments have these. Um, you can view bed. Good. I'm going to go ahead and just take the camera from you. In here, Zico's, which I really don't wear anymore. We got some bumpers, uh, wacky stuff, drop shot stuff. I don't do that too much. Uh, this box never leaves the boat. This is full of DT6s, DT10s. Then this here is just a bunch of random soft plastics. You know, I don't have a lot of my boxes in here just because the lake, I'll take that. The lake is fishing so random, I really don't even know what to bring anymore. So I got a couple containers in the boat, I just throw a bunch of crap in there and see what I can get bit on. But um, it's been hard to pattern the fish lately. Put this stuff back. All right. Let's go to the center here. Again, Cook's Go-To Tackle System on here. Now this one here, these, I don't know if you can see this, babe. These I just use like sheet metal screws. Let me go grab it. This one here, I just use sheet metal screws and screw those right into the support. But on these here, these supports here were falling off. So these ones here, I through bolted. Let me go ahead and show you guys. You guys have asked to see the screws. Um, right there, you can see that there's one there. One here, I mean, they're kind of hidden in the carpet. And this carpet's all matted down anyways, but they're not really that noticeable. So we can find another one. Hey guys, really, I only see those couple, so. Got the camera? So anyways, I threw both of these into the supports, through the lid. Like I said, you can hardly see the screws. Uh, we got my new tech jigs up there, some of them. Got some other jigs up there as well. I used to have this loaded with new jigs, but since I've been like doing a lot of pond hopping, I actually made a jig box. So I took a lot of those down, they're in my jig box. But normally that's full of my, uh, my new jigs. I do have a code for new tech lures and for biospawn. Use code TJ81 to get 15% off. Definitely check that out. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this box before. This is full of spinner baits, chatter baits. I'll link that video down below. Uh, we got another box in here. This one I usually take with me going to the farm ponds. More spinner baits, chatter baits. Um, just a bunch of random stuff in here. Kitex, what they were hitting on the other day at the lake. Uh, tubes, frogs. This box here never leaves the boat. Dye markers, JJ's Magic. Hog tonic, fish sticks. <laughs> that box is, that box is ripe. Um, Again, you can see that, babe. Just random. Let's see that. Bunch of random soft plastics in here. Um, like I said, not really too organized right now. I mean, like I said, the lakes are just fishing really weird. Uh, we got a paddle in here. Bunch of scent. Uh, or KVD line and lure. Things like that. Back here we have. This is um. What we got here? This is lure retriever stuff. I got, let's see here, spare props back there. And I got a first aid kit back in there. Running light, another paddle, uh, treble hooks, a bunch of tubes. So that's that. I'll put all this stuff away later. I'll take that back. Oh, you know what? That's what I want to talk about. This is the third thing. There are three things I didn't like about the boat. It was the console, the gas tank, and now this is the rod locker, okay? You guys can see that I don't use it for rods. All the rods are in back of my, um, or in my tackle room there. So when I wanna um, go fishing, I just transport the rods from my room to the boat or to the truck. I use the rod mule for that. Definitely check that out, guys. I'll link that video down below. But um, like I said, I don't store the rods in the boat. The um, issue was, is this front wall here, it's just too high. Now they've changed this in the newer trackers. It's, it's brought down here and it's part of the lid. The lid actually comes out like this and it comes down here. So when you're putting your rods in, you got a straight shot. Okay, with this setup, you know, if you got like a seven foot heavy power rod, there's not much bend in the rod. It was just too hard to get the rod in there really without wrecking the rod. So I never use this compartment for rods. You can see I cut out all the tubes. This compartment here actually was brought down a lot lower and there was more holes in there for tubes. Again, I cut all that out and decided to put in the, uh, the recessed foot pedal because I didn't use this for rods. So like I said, um, Poor design here. They should have brought this this front wall down a lot lower to get those rods in there. But with the way I do it, you know, it, it works well for me. But um, 
So that's that. Uh, right here, this is the RS net. Just started using this. Actually won this in a contest last year. And for a while I was using the Ego nets. I was out uh, last week with my boy. We caught a five and a half pound catfish. And that catfish had ripped the net and it actually pulled the handle out of the, um, I don't know what you want to call it there. There's a, there's a button there. It's a, it's, I guess it's a butt and a handle. And the back of the handle, I guess it's glued in there. And I'm assuming my son had the back of the net when he pulled the catfish in and the whole handle came out. So I got to figure out a way to glue that back in there. Like I said, and we tore the net. So I retired that net for a while and now I'm using the RS nets. But the Eco net in the beginning, I really did like it, but I think it's got a, a few flaws in it. Um, let me move this out of the way here. This compartment here, we have life jackets. Cook's go-to tackle system, I don't have anything on there right now, but life jackets. Um, one of the pairs of shoes that never leave this boat, and these are Olakai's, awesome shoes here. The other pair is right down here. I'm not affiliated with them, been wearing Olakai's for years, awesome sandal there. Uh, we got throw cushion down here. We have this bag here. I keep all my Vilecraws in this bag because if I'm going pond hopping, this is the bag that I take. You can see it's full of Biospawn Vilecraws, Plasma Tails. You guys can see that. And I keep this front pouch here that's loaded with Terminal Tackle, different hooks, tungsten weights and all that. So pretty cool. Got to keep them vial crawls ready to roll. And then another Mafia box here, Terminal Tackle, which I'm not sure why that box is in there. It should be in there. But like I said, I'm not really organized that great at the moment. All right, move this back. Oh, my shoes go in there. All right, we got a ruler right here, a bump stick. Down here, we have, I got a video on these as well. These are from Boatmates. This one here is bolted to the front face here, and this one here is just um, screwed into the console here. But you know, just, you can put stuff in there. I got some uh, bait sacks, some baits I was using last time out. Swim baits, vial craws, hanger baits on there, pliers and all that, that's pretty cool. This is for all my scissors, pliers, things like that. Snip on there. See that? Then we got tackle webs here on the face. I got a video on these, like I said earlier, they'll be down below. Connect scale in there. I got. A, I believe I do have a code for these. Get 10% off, I'll link that down below as well. Got the connect scale there. Uh, some Ned Rig stuff, flukes. Over here we got uh, some sunscreen, more KVD line and lure, some fisherman soap, marker buoy. Put these on my crankbaits. I got a video on those as well. Uh, you guys ask about this rug all the time. Uh, does it blow out? You guys ask that too. Normally, um, my cooler, I got a video on this as well. It's full of ice and Gatorade. It sits on the carpet here or on the rug, so it does not blow out as I'm driving. But this is the first place I step when I get in the boat, so if I do have tar or something on my shoes, it's going to be on this rug and not my actual good carpet. So that's why that's in here. Okay. Put this away. All right, we talked about these, right? Uh, let's go to the console. You want to walk around, babe? Console's pretty straightforward here. We have RPMs, voltmeter, fuel, miles per hour. Uh, Lav nights, recirculator, or navigation lights, um, recirculator, aerator, ignition over here, bilge pump, little spot up here to put, you know, I put my gloves up there or um, towel, things like that. Little story though, I was at the lake last week uh, with my boy and a good storm was coming in. We stayed too long. I, I think I got on a pretty good pattern there, so I was really wanting to push a little bit longer and figure them out. and. Um, we were coming in, we were kind of rushed, and I had one of those like big sun hats, and I put that up here as I went to get off the boat, and like I said, we were rushed tying the boat down to help and get out of there because it started raining, and um, that ended up blowing out, so now I gotta order another hat, but 
watch what you put in there because things will blow out. Um, let's see here. Over here, if you can see this, baby. Go ahead and grab that. Under here, we have another tackle web. You can see there's a buoy in there, a whistle. This is my extension there for my mic when I clamp my GoPro on the windshield. We have a 12 volt, 12 volt charger here, like a cigarette lighter deal, um, power pole switch, and there's the shifter, obviously, and all that. Underneath the seats, want to grab that, babe? That's one thing I could do, I like about this boat, I don't like about this boat. On the newer ones, they have straps on these seats, so you can pull up from the center and open them up. But this one does not have that. And here we just got um, paperwork, sunglasses, uh, money beam, Calco's fishing. Those guys are awesome, definitely check them out. Cup holders, uh, Nonic Start 2, this thing is awesome, I got a video on this as well. Portable power, definitely check that out. A little fish gripper here. This is also where I used to mount my camera. I got a video on that as well. Um, we'll come around here for this. We'll go ahead and check out the live well. I believe this is either 16 or 21 gallons. Cusco 2 tax system in here as well. Have the bait bucket, which I've never used. And guys, I don't fish tournaments, but once in a while I'll have a little buddy tournament. And, um, you know, so I like to have these in here. But, you know, these are from Calco's Fishing, the clip and call. No rust, puncture free. You can see here. Open them up, clamp it down on the fish. Simple to use, no puncture. Definitely check those out. That is that. We already talked about the stool tool. I think you want to walk around over here, babe? No, we already did this, didn't we? Let's go ahead and do underneath this seat here. And back here, I think we're done. All right. Now I show this pretty good in my video of the power pole install. But you can see here is a gas tank all the way to this side here. Like I said, it's, it's on the driver's side. I just wish it was maybe centered more or like I said, maybe under the seats, somewhere other than where it's at because like I said, a full tank of gas with my weight, the boat leans way too much. I believe it's a 26 gallon tank. I can't read that anymore on there, but I believe it's 26 gallons. Yeah, so a full tank, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of weight. But we have, for batteries, we have one cranking battery, one trolling battery. Let me get over there so I can Read the names there. Cranking battery is 27M XHD. These are interstate batteries. And then the trolling battery is SRM29. Awesome batteries here. Got the Minn Kota charger there. And then as you can see back here, let me grab the camera a bit. You can see back here, under there, if you can see that light flashing, there's the pump. So, I mean, like I say in the video for the power pole install, I mean, we might be able to fit another pump in here somewhere, but it would be a tight squeeze. Grab the back. So that's that. I think the last thing to cover, babe, is what? Underneath the seat. All right, underneath the seat, just a bunch of miscellaneous crap, I'm pretty sure. Uh, some spare hooks here. We got uh, some spare gas line, some zip ties, running lights, ram mount, wrench right there, which if I didn't mention that, the front graph is on a ram mount. We have a little float, some swib jigs, uh, some crankbaits I didn't even know I had in here, some evergreen cranks, some cables to charge the GoPros. Um, that there, if I want to use a suction cup mount for the GoPro some buffs, gear ties, things like that, charger, so just some miscellaneous stuff, and I believe, I believe that is it. So guys, overall, she's a good boat, I mean, I don't have really, you guys are going to ask about this, I mentioned this before in a video, why I have a bobber hanging from the ceiling in the winter time when it's too cold, legs freeze up. I turn this boat sideways in this garage, and when I pull the truck in, when the windshield hits the bobber, the truck's in. So that's what that's for. But overall, guys, it's a great boat. I mean, I've had a lot of fun in this boat. I plan on keeping it for a while still, unless something comes up. You know, I possibly have something else going on, maybe, where I might be getting a different boat in maybe another year or so. But if not, you know, I'm more than happy with this tracker. It's a great boat. It's done uh, done right by me, and. Um, that's it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.